From 1880 to 1914, European nations used imperialism to dominate the continent of Africa. The arrival of Europeans changed Africa. Before Europeans, Africa was divided into tribal clans and powerful Islamic kingdoms. During the Age of Exploration, Europeans explored the African coast and brought African slaves to their colonies in America. The Industrial Revolution led to imperialism in Africa in the mid-1800s. In the 1870s, the discoveries of a missionary named David Livingstone increased European interest in Africa. The first Europeans to explore the interior of Africa were missionaries and explorers. Reports of large deposits and natural resources and the rise of nationalism in Europe set off a race for African colonies. Social Darwinism, steamboats, and industrial weapons encouraged the conquest of Africa. The race for African colonies was so fierce that Europeans became afraid wars would break out. In 1884, 14 nations met at the Congress of Berlin to set the rules for colonizing in Africa. Any nation could claim land in Africa by notifying other nations and showing it could control the area. No African nations were invited to attend. No concern was given to ethnic divisions in Africa. By 1914, Europeans controlled 90% of Africa. France took most of West Africa. Belgium claimed the Congo in Central Africa. Germany had many colonies throughout Africa. These nations used African colonies to gain diamonds, tin, gold, rubber, and built cash crop plantations. The most dominant imperial power in Africa was Great Britain. British industry fueled demand for raw materials. Britain claimed colonies in Egypt and in East Africa. In 1882, Britain seized control of the Suez Canal from a French company. Britain seized control of South Africa from the Dutch. Many citizens in England dreamed of a British colony from Cape Town to Cairo. The most important empire builder in Africa was British businessman Cecil Rhodes. His De Beers company created diamond mines in South Africa. Rhodes gained new colonies for Britain in South Africa. Rhodes used his wealth to build railroads and telegraph lines in Africa. What was the impact of European imperialism in Africa? 
Europeans introduced new technologies like railroads, telegraph lines, and steamboats. Europeans brought an end to the slave trade. Although they brought railroads, telegraph lines, and steamboats, transportation routes only connected areas that benefited European businessmen. Although they brought an end to the slave trade, Africans were paid low wages and often exploited. Europeans built schools, churches, and hospitals but Africans were taught European culture, and Europeans profited off of Africa's raw materials and cheap African labor. Africans were unable to rule themselves, participate in voting, or learn professional skills. In South Africa, the British segregated society, called apartheid, which remained in place for over 100 years. Africans rebelled against European rule, but were defeated due to advanced European weaponry. Africa remained under the control of European imperialists from the 1880s until the 1950s and 60s.